With all the test checks and screening that one is offered during their pregnancy, it's easy to get confused and not knowing anymore why you're doing what. In this video, we're going to discuss about a screening test that might be offered in your country, talking about the GBS screening test, the GRIP B streptococcus vaginal and rectal swab. Let's go into this video to know why we do it and what does it mean for your birth. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here instead, my name is Elena and I'm a midwife. Let's discuss all about the GBS, Group B Streptococcus, which is a bacteria that is actually commonly found in human bodies that loves to live in the lower digestive tract, meaning your intestine, your bowels, especially the lower part. Is it bad? No, it's a bacteria that in a healthy, normal immune system does not cause any problem whatsoever. We check pregnant women for it because it might cause some problems to the unborn baby while they go through the birth canal. We're going to see in a moment why. As I was saying, the GBS loves to be in the lower intestine tract and therefore it is sometimes found in the rectum and it can migrate up into the vagina and in more serious case also in the bladder. Do we do anything if you are tested positive in the urine? Yes, usually during your monthly urine check if your provider finds GBS then you might be offered a antibiotic treatment orally while if you are screened at the end of the pregnancy and you test positive in your vagina or rectal swab, we don't do anything to you because GBS is one of those bacteria that comes and goes. Some people never have it in their life, some people always have it, other people just have it and don't have it accordingly to the period of time when we test them. And this is because, again, we have loads of bacteria in our bodies and some of them are good, some of them are bad and they interact between themselves and they calibrate themselves nicely. Why do we worry if you're positive at the end of the pregnancy? Babies that get in contact with GBS sometimes can become, can become colonized by, by this bacteria and some babies don't have any effect by it, but some babies can become quite sick, meaning they can have meningitis, um, sepsis, or worst case also death, because it's an immune system that is not developed, is not, did not have the chance yet to develop anticorps and to fight this bacteria. Therefore, we offer as we, I mean some countries, it depends, some countries is a free test and it's a, like a routine test, other countries is not. We offer a vaginal and rectal swab usually around 36, 37 weeks. Other countries don't routinely swab women and that's because they just use another approach, meaning the risk factor approach. If, for example, if you had temperature labor or if your waters have broken for more than 24 hours or if you had GBS previously in another pregnancy or in your life, then we consider you as a GBS positive and then we treat you for it. Other countries test at the moment of labor, but again, there are so many research going on about it because it's such a confusing topic still and we don't know what. The best approach is in order to have the best outcomes for mom and baby obviously. It is estimated approximately that one in four women have GBS and there is nothing bad about it, like you didn't do anything to cause it or to get it, it's not a sexual transmitted infection, you're not sick, you didn't do, you didn't do anything bad to have it, it's just one of those bacteria that is present sometimes in some individuals. What do we do in labor in order to protect baby from getting it? We offer you um, an intravenous treatment. We usually, it is with a penicillin, a penicillin antibiotic, which is a broad spectrum. It is offered to you usually every four hours until the baby is born and that aims to reduce the viral load, the bacterial load of the, of the bacteria or kill it completely so that the baby is less exposed or the risk is at the minimum. It is proven that the IV therapy really helps to reduce the colonization of um, 
GBRs on newborn babies, so it's found to be quite effective. Also, obviously, being being an antibiotic sometimes has all the negative effects that an antibiotic has, meaning it can affect your microbiome or also the baby microbiome. So it is better to obviously to aim it into those people that really need the treatment because it has negative effects sometimes like any medical intervention, unfortunately. It's also not necessarily linked the fact that if you have GBS and baby gets it, baby's gonna become sick. Most of the babies are actually, even when they're found to be positive for GBS, they're actually fine. It's just the one, two percent of those babies that get GBS that become seriously unwell and seriously sick. So that's why we try to screen everyone and to treat whoever needs the most. What does it change to your labor? Unfortunately, if you were planning to be at home, not all the home birth midwife do this treatment at home because they need to be obviously qualified and trained to do antibiotics at home. But also if your water breaks, then it is not recommended that you stay at home waiting for labor to start. It's um, you need to come to the hospital and receive IV antibiotics. But if you're starting to have contractions and your waters are not broken and you feel well and everything is fine, you can wait at home for a little bit, waiting for this contraction to establish because it is recommended that the IV antibiotics is started while you are in active labor. Therefore, a lot of women are worried that they have to run to the hospital as soon as the contractions start. I would suggest you that you check with your provider, first of all, to know what they do in your area and in your case, but it is quite safe to be at home until the waters have broken and until the contractions are established. I also want to add that although you're testing negative for GBS, if you go into labor earlier, meaning before 37 weeks, you will anyway, anyhow, receive antibiotic treatment to protect your preterm baby from contracting GBS or any kind of bacteria. And also if your waters are broken for more than 24 hours or if you have fever in labor, you will be given a certain type of antibiotic to protect baby from any type of infection. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that it helped to clarify a lot of questions and misconceptions that there are around GBS. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.